The head of state was at the time delivering the feature address at the ceremonial launch for Indigenous Heritage Month at the Sophia Exhibition Center. President Granger highlighted that education in the hinterland began under the church 50 years ago and the task continues today. Education is the cornerstone of government's plans to ensure greater equality between the hinterland and the coastland, to reduce poverty and to provide greater economic and employment opportunities for indigenous communities and peoples. The head of state reminded the coalition inherited the public education system with several issues and through much effort, some progress has been made. He assured that residents of the hinterland will no longer need to worry about accessing quality education. Government's creation of four capital towns at Particle, Lethem, Mabaluma and Madium, which administer three quarters of our land space will ensure the establishment of a first-class secondary school in each and every capital town. A student will not have to leave his or her region to get a first-class secondary education. Hinterland residents should not think that they have fallen behind the rest of the country in terms of access to public education opportunities. Education is the great equalizer. It is the key to reversing hinterland on the development and providing employment. Minister of Indigenous Peoples Affairs, the Honorable Sidney Alicock, stated that government has provided technical training centers throughout the country. Today we have available to us all the opportunities for training and education that would help to refine the skills that are rooted in the spirit of Indigenous peoples as it relates to caring for their natural environment. This should never be taken lightly. Also present at the ceremonial launch was Prime Minister the Honorable Moses Nagamutu, his wife Mrs. Sita Nagamutu, members of the Diplomatic Corps and special invitees.